For more than three centuries, Americans have built their own guns. And now it's more popular than ever. Today, three builders race the clock and each other. They face a mission-specific box of parts and a series of challenges. The winner earns bragging rights, prizes, and takes home a gun. This is BuildBox. My name's Bradley Johnson. I'm from Hammond, Louisiana. My interest ranges from flintlock firearms to whatever the latest and greatest is. I've built pre-war Winchester Model 70s. I've built Rhodesian FALs. Um, you know, just lots of oddball stuff like that. As far as modern firearms, like I'm fairly certain we're gonna be building on this show, I would say my experience is out of a 10, probably a five. It's been a few years since I've done it, but I've got the gist and I'm really excited. My name is Gib O'Neill. I am a contractor from Ohio. I started doing gun builds uh, with the need for a three gun rifle. I, I like to make them clean, smooth, well-functioning, a gun that if it's running a little low on oil, it'll still function. I'm Zach Hall, been a machinist, since 97. The thing I like about guns is how they function and the mechanics that go into it, the way the different parts fit together, just the, the mechanical beauty of them. I have a hot job shop background, so it's rush production, gotta have it now. Like, that's my forte. I believe gun builds are mostly popular because folks like the hands-on, and then it's just fun, it's like Legos for adults. Builders, welcome to the Advantage Challenge range. Behind me you can see that I've got a short course of fire. And in this challenge, which will be judged for speed and accuracy, you have the ability to win two advantages. The clay targets are with your shotgun. You will have eight rounds in the gun. There are eight targets. You will have 17 rounds in your pistol, and there are only seven targets downrange. You will shoot the clays first, you'll shoot your static targets next, you will shoot that bullseye target last. So how fast you complete the challenge will give you an advantage. The closest to the bullseye will get an additional advantage. You have the opportunity to win both advantages here. Bradley, we drew straws before we came out here and you drew the short straw. So you're gonna be first. I did not know we were doing a shooting portion and I was like, ah, damn, I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> and I get out there and you know, I'm a rifle guy and I get out there and I was like, there's a pistol. <laughs> Press that trigger. One. Press that trigger. Now get those other two. Press that trigger. Now your bullseye. Now your bullseye. Put one round on a bullseye target, which I completely missed. Okay, Bradley, your time was 51.13. 51.13. Gib, you've got to beat that and you're next. Watching the first competitor shoot, uh, I knew I had a little extra time and then I did not have to rush things. Came up on target to shoot that precision and literally watched my front sight climb above my rear and I pulled the trigger. All right, Gib, good job. 21.81, 21.81, you're about five inches off the center of that bullseye. Zach, you ready for this challenge? Yes, sir. All right, come on in. All right, do you understand the course of fire? Yes, sir. You know what you're doing. Yeah. I know, I know you do. <laughs> All right, shooter. Yep. Shooter ready. Yes, sir. Stand by. Yeah. 
So on the targets, I was shooting a little low on the jugs. Press that trigger. Yeah. Corrected that. When I got to the bullseye, nailed it solid. Wow. Waxed both of us. <laughs> 29.42, 29.42, and that is as close I'll, to the I'll bullseye yeah. as I have seen yet. <laughs> I'd like to say I'm that good of a shot all the time. Definitely, I know what I'm doing, but there was some luck involved in that one. Zach, not the fastest, but you did get the bullseye. So that puts you in first place for that. Gib, you're in first place for the speed. Bradley, well, you still get to build a gun. <laughs> All right. Consolation. Tell you what, let's go inside and build some guns. Cool. Sounds good. Follow me. That <laughs> was nice, man. <laughs> build Box. Brought to you by Double Star. GunTalkTV.com. Hollow Sun. Lone Wolf Arms and Blue Force Gear. All right, guys, welcome in to the Build Box Workshop. I've done enough that I know what I'm doing and I feel good about if, if they give us a concept to go with, I, I'm gonna be able to do it. First, let's introduce our judges. He has a personal vendetta against white-tailed deer, Kevin Jarnigan. I love them all, they are tasty. He has the best sayings since Yogi Berra, Chris Serino. At some point, one of you will look at that pile like a frog looking at a wristwatch. He actually teaches AR Armors classes and goes by many names, including Big Timber, Nick Collier with Double Star Firearms. Where's your hatchet? Ah, uh, I left it. Looking forward to using the tools. Like, it's a good setup in there. Builders, on the range, you shot two guns. You shot a shotgun, you shot a pistol one gun short of a three gun course. I've got a fair guess that it's an AR platform of some sort, just because literally all the tools are geared towards putting together an AR, which I haven't put one together in about six years. Well, a lot of people start out building for competition shooting. So today, you'll be building Homemade <laughs> upgrade. This is an example of Chris's three gun rifle. So what you're gonna have to do is take a basic AR, break it all the way down, and build your three gun rifle. Gib, you had the fastest time out there, which means you get to pick between two advantages. Mm. We have the range challenge, where you get to send one of your competitors out to the range to complete a shooting challenge while the clock keeps ticking and you keep working. Or the mystery advantage. I don't like sabotaging or having someone else put further back. The mystery advantage today is judgment day. It's very scary. Zach finished second in time, which means he's going to get whatever you don't pick. So, Gib, what'll it be? I went to Mystery Advantage. Mystery Advantage. I don't know that I've ever seen a challenge on TV where it wasn't to hinder somebody else and not to help yourself. Now, if it's gonna be to help me, then I'm gonna take it. So, Gib, you can go ahead and take a peek so you know what Judgment Day is. That'll help you decide when to play that advantage. So, Gib, now you know what the Mystery Advantage is, you can play that at any time you feel like you want to. And then Zach, the range challenge, when you throw that flag, you're gonna send someone to the range. Now you guys know the mission, go ahead and open your build boxes and start taking a look at what's in there. Some nice stuff. There was a massive selection of stuff, no doubt about it. Normally when I do a build, I'll select the parts I want to build it and know how everything will go together. This was kind of like, make do with what you got. For this build, you have three hours and your time starts now. 
These gun builds will be judged on four criteria, overall appearance, individuality, meets the mission, and shootability. Can you check your toolbox? I wasn't expecting that build at all. I have swapped out little parts here and there on an AR platform, but I've never built one from the ground up. And what I mean by that is barrel, gas tube, trigger group, safety, buffer tube, everything. Always takes a little bit of help. Always. Hard to see the forest for the trees sometimes. <laughs> Bet you, bet you wish you had a mystery advantage right now. <laughs> Did you ever try a metal hammer on anything like that? There, you there go. we go. Oh, yeah, now we're that's talking. a hammer. <laughs> now that's a hammer. There was a certain punch that was not wanting to work. I had to get a bigger hammer. When I did that, I broke the punch. Why are you mad at your punch? What happened here? It needed some love. <laughs> this is this is for, you know, when you've got that, that hard to reach area. Thankfully, we had lots of punches. There's something to say for using the right tool for the job. Always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm basically there testing what works and what doesn't for the average Joe. Oh. There's no telling. You know you can't take that off without taking the gas tube off, right? Right. You know, we do them to a specific torque. Yeah. And then sometimes customers do it a little more. But you know, with the barrel nut, you can only go so far before you hit the gas tube and then you've got real problems. Oh, and there it goes. Oh. It's, it's, it's a high pressure situation, man, for sure, once you get in there. All right, Gib, what you working on? So I'm going for a fairly lightweight uh, AR. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna shoot something that can, I, I picked a 16 inch fluted barrel. It's a heavy barrel, it can take a lot of heat, dissipates a lot of heat. You can run the living hell out of it and you can count on it probably for your next stage. I like this barrel. Yeah. So, and you're a three gun shooter. You kind of yeah. have some preferences on what you want in a gun. Yeah, I, I need a gun that shoots light, shoots mm -hmm. fast. I wish we had a some, some little longer length on our gas tube so I could maybe slow down that gas you, system a little gas, bit. You know, I have a question. Yeah, I speaking got in a of, hurry. Speaking of gas tube. <laughs> so know. I got in a hurry. I did two things right out of the gate. I didn't take my muzzle brake off, and I should have pulled my gas block first thing out of the box. Mm. But I was so focused on getting that barrel out of there that I just destroyed it. Knowing that I have another one right there, I don't feel as bad. All right. I mean, I like it, could, it. it could be worse. Hey. Sometimes going fast means destroying things, apparently. Uh, bigger hammer. Sometimes. Bigger hammer. The bigger hammer school of gunsmithing. Did you lose something? That will jump right out of there. There it is. It's under the table. Now my sword is right under here. Yeah. Zach, you went straight to work, man. You seem like you just kind of like, you started stripping that thing apart and said, we're gonna change this over. Yep. I mean, what's, uh, Nothing the same. I mean, this is what you do every day this almost, is... to just mess with guns, take uh, them apart, put them together, all that stuff. Uh, usually I start from the ground up. Yeah. Like designing it. So I started with the barrel, take the first one apart, uh, get the next one in, and then selecting everything that goes after that. So what's the strategy for you? you uh, to make yours different? I really dig this barrel. Yeah, 18 inch rifle length gas, should be soft shooting. I like the profile, mm -hmm. nice and light, but still almost a bull barrel. Yep. Good good chamber, good twist. 223 oh. Wild, that's a, that's a chambering that's really popular for three yeah. gun. Yeah, very hybrid. So it, you get the accuracy of a good tight chamber, but still the reliability and functionality of a 5.56 chamber. The rest of it was just, just kind of what had to go with it to make it work. What do you think the hardest part of this build's gonna be? Managing time. Which trigger did you go with, Bradley? The DH3? 
Yeah, the uh, Timony two stage competition oh, okay. trigger. All right, I'm gonna use my mystery advantage. Is. Redeem this card any time uh, during your build to receive five minutes of help from any judge. I'd like Chris to come up and give me a hand, Ooh. judging how well I'm getting this lap done right Chris. now. Chris. All right. Well, I'll see you in five minutes. I don't see so good. <laughs> Somebody watch the clock. I'll watch the clock. I'll call you back. I started to get nervous when I saw Gib and Zach doing things that I would never do, like, let's lap this and let's improve this this hole and you know they brought out drills and lapping compounds and stuff like that and I was like I'm just trying to make sure it functions. All right so the lap face you know the face of this thing is super skinny compared to what I'm kind of used to so I'm just having a little trouble judging if I've got a nice even surface going right here right now. It's hard to see I it looks like it's probably pretty good. It looks and feels really good I would probably you're using 220 right now? Yeah so I'm probably if I if if we yeah, both see if we both see metal there, but this is the area where it's it was a little dark spot right here. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay, so I would cut this a little. All right, bit more. cut a little more. I was able to get a second set of eyes on there to really get it. Plus, he was able to help me lap it in, really get the thing together. So I knocked a lot of time out. The gun is absolutely silky smooth inside right now. It's everything I was hoping I would get out of lapping it. You want to make sure that you clean this out really good, get some of your spray oil, yep. and, and really clean and clear it. That looks fantastic. What are you doing, Zach? Mm -hmm. What are you Dimple doing? In the barrel. What's that? Dimple in the barrel. For the set screws. Dimpled the barrel because the uh, roll pin that went in it kind of delaminated when I went to drive it back in. It was a, a set screwed and pinned barrel, but um, just didn't have a spare roll pin, so I dimpled it to keep the, the gas block from walking. Uh oh, as if they're not confused enough. Right? <laughs> awesome. Here's another wrench for you. Build Box. Brought to you by Ballistic Advantage, Aero Precision, Gundelio.com, Brownells, and Real Avid. All right, builders, builders. Everybody stop for a second. It's time for the Brownells bonus box. You guys shot on the bullseye. We said closest to the bullseye was gonna mean something. Well, guess what? You can pick three items from the Brownells bonus box for your build. Now, you have a limited amount of time, so come around, pick out your three items. When I lift the lid, you're gonna have 45 seconds to pick. Yes, sir. All right, go. Mmm. Yeah. Yep. Low power variable optic. He's very decisive. Single <laughs> stage. Trigger? Wow. Yeah. Tell me trigger. Going to the bonus box was nice. Didn't really have a lot of time to see what was in there, so it's kind of whatever I could grab off the top that looked like parts I would want to use. I got a first focal plane Strike Eagle 1 to 8 with the cantilever mount, a Timony single stage, I think it's a three pound trigger and a Warhammer charging handle. When you have an adjustable gas block, you know, if you have all the time in the world you need to go out there with ammunition and start cranking the thing back and forth, you, you can put a lot of time into adjusting the block. We don't have a lot of time here. So two things I was doing with that. One, I was blowing through it to make sure I had good air flow, you know, good flow through it. So even when it was cranked wide open, um, I knew that I had good flow and I had my gas block lined up correct. Cool. So, so Chris, Bradley seems to take a lot of interest in what other people are picking and building. You should. You, you should. should. Well, you've got, well, I mean, Gibbs a three gunner and Zach, Definitely knows his way around the gun right. shop. It's actually kind of built. <laughs> yes. This what? is like this, this is, is like small potatoes. This is a normal normal Wednesday for him. Okay. Um. Is this to clamp my? 
Oh, if Gibb wasn't there, I wouldn't have a rifle. It was, hey man, am I lining this up, this up correctly? And he'd come over for like five seconds and he'd be like, don't do that, do this. More than likely that gas block on this ballistic advantage barrel is gonna line dead up, almost tight, but maybe not snug. Pull that off and when you get to okay, that, get to me okay. and I'll, I'll show you something. Yeah. All right, the challenge flag has been thrown. Gib, you gotta shoot the range challenge. You better get going. I threw the flag at Gib because he was he was moving along pretty good and he already had one advantage, so I decided to go ahead and pull a little of that advantage away. All right, man, you got nine targets. Dust them. When Zach threw the timeout challenge at me, I was pretty psyched, even though I was not ready for it. And of course, they put the challenge about as far as away as you can get here. Next week on BuildBox. Three hours went way faster than it usually does at work. But that's the pin you need in. And a couple quick things, they're a help. If you want your gas tube to stay in place, it's about a quarter inch long, it's very, very tiny. The bag this came in, I'm not gonna be able to finish a rifle. Yeah. Would you like to learn more about building your own gun? Go to buildboxTV.com for videos with tips and tricks to help you get started.